And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Braum. This is going to be an exciting one to play. I always love playing Braum decks and I, I, I also like playing Vladimir decks. Um, so it's kind of surprising that I haven't played Vladimir Braum that much, but we're going to go ahead and try it out. We're going to see how it does in this current metagame. I like having three Avalanche, three Ice Shard, two Death Lotus right against all these aggro decks that are going wide with small units. That should be pretty appealing. We'll have the, um, the Scar Grounds that whenever we survive the damage there, we get tough for everything. That's going to be a key card. And we got a good amount of top end stuff with not only Vladimir and Braum, but then Tarkas, Scar Mother, Basilisk Bloodseeker. Cool top end cards as well. Crimson Curator is going to be an important one. Get us those extra random Crimson units for us to have so just a few more units. Um, but then that's kind of our deck. Troll Chan, Elixir of Iron for protection. Three Sisters as just a versatile card to kind of do whatever we need. Scorched Earth can kill larger things after we Avalanche Ice Shard Death Lotus. Should be a fun one to play. So let's try it out. Vladimir Brom. Ooh, this one will be exciting. Okay, so we're playing against Gangplank Sejuani for our first one. Uh, the two champions could be kind of big and difficult to deal with, but we do have those Scar Grounds if we find those. Or that, sorry, Scorched Earth. <laughs> I was just looking at the Scar Grounds. We have the Scorched Earth if we find those. Crimson Blood Letter. Let's get him, crew. Um, yeah, we're gonna play this. So I think. Hmm. I would like to find ice shards. Okay, I'm gonna say ice shards or um, death lotus would be nice with this one one. Forces me to use that troll chan when I don't want to. Perfect start for them, though. Perfect start. But I want to play the Scar Grounds before playing something else. I don't have that ability. I found my family, my blood kin. I deal in coins and carnage. Yeah, this has just been a perfect start for Bloody setting up plunder. Amazing hand. <laughs> Crackshot Corsair into Make It Rain, into uh, Monkey Idol, into Double Hired Gun. Amazing hand. And round five, they're leveled up. Gangplank on five. This is a hand right here. Me down to six. Ah! 
I wanted to give both of them tough, but I should put this Crimson Disciple out there. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. I'm not sure which one of these I want to hit. I guess it's the monkey. Out. Alright, perfect hand. Yeah. Yeah, we could easily kill them if Disciple dealt two damage still instead of one. Okay, so we got Teemo Zed. I want my champions, and I want I'm gonna send these back. I want my avalanches, ice shards, death lotus. Why don't we ever get those cards? I feel like I should keep the Blood Letter, though, and, but then, I don't know. Blood Letter plus Aristocrat, that's two survive damages for the Vladimir. Okay, got an Ice Shard. I like that better. You know, their plan is to uh, just kill me with a bunch of elusives. I can see them playing another solitary monk here and picking that one up. But that's just how it is. Nothing like the great outdoors. Class. All right, Nasher, have a good day at work. Eyes open. Watch the branches. Do I troll chant first? Just in case this gets denied, I'll go for the Teemo so they don't give me puff caps. Okay. As far as things that could happen, that was one of the better case scenarios. Another day in the field. Yeah, you never know what hit him. Hello, my darling. Do not fear the shrouded path. Shadow etched blood. How delightful. Protect each other. Everything's better with cutting. Man. Says you. Guess I should have waited. Really should have waited on the ice shard. I think the avalanche was at a good time. I think my ice shard I should have waited on. That was one to wait on. Small or me big. 
I walk my path alone. Nothing like the great outdoors. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. How close are you to leveling up? Three. We're gonna have to do some blocking. Where are you going? I'll put them to zero. Did you spoil the surprise? So because they denied that, then my Vladimir didn't level up, so my Vladimir is not draining the As three. Okay. So I could use the troll chant and save the Bloodseeker, but I would rather save the troll chant in case, you know, for whatever attacker they're gonna have. That's gonna kill me. I feel like they're down to two anyway. You know, my Vladimir attack kills them anyway. I don't need to save the Bloodseeker, but I want that minus two, minus zero to help basically heal my, you know, make it so they have to do nine damage instead of seven. Quietly. I have the name. I need the reputation. Ooh, such rich blood. I guess I use it now. Okay. There we go. One and one. And see, all those kind of matchups should be not so bad for us with having all the Ice Shards, Death Lotus, Avalanche, and a lot of people are playing these Zed decks these days. Fiora Shen. So they're looking to kill all these small unit decks with Fiora in barriers. That could be kind of tough for me. I like Avalanche. I like Scorched Earth. I think I'll send Troll Champ back. I like Tarkaz as well. And I guess we'll get our Troll Champ right back. Ideally, my Avalanche is like killing a Fiora and hurting a Shen. Ideally. Shen for the scorched earth. Water changes but never breaks. Gross. I can't just let them keep that, can I? I mean, yeah, I guess I can. I guess I have to. Engulf them. A gift from the river folk. Gross. The eye of twilight sees them. Okay, got their best card out of here, Shen. Took two cards to do it, but it was a two for two trade. To trade Avalanche and Scorched Earth for Shen and Twin Disciplines. So our units are a little bigger. Wow. That was pretty good. Not expecting that. That was pretty good. I found my family, my blood. Tiny. Come, 
Clara. We have much to teach you. I can't wait. My shield is yours. Time to smash! Just pass. The Tarkas ability would bust up that barrier. You know they have no Jarvan in hand. <laughs> I played some expeditions. I think that'd be cooler. Alright, so now level up lad. Break their spirits and their souls. Love to draw a the scar grounds. We drew a the avalanche. I think I can go with that right now. I really hope they don't have bright steel formation. You know that nine mana thing that gives all their stuff barrier. But if they do, this would kill some stuff first. Yeah, I do have a Zillion Echo deck in Expedition right now. I think I'm just going to attack. With all these non-Tarkaz things. I don't really want to play Vladimir and attack with it, and then they use, you know, like a whatever thing that gives the creature dragon barrier. Sure. Have to do that immediately. So they don't get to challenge immediately. Alright, Vladimir time. Hello, my darling. We swim within the flows of magic. Magic. Strike, we will reform. You like frogs, huh? Guessing that's a repost, or they're just walking there for the most damage possible. Okay, puts them down to three. I can. That doesn't do any extra damage. That does two extra damage. Okay, not really worth. What form will the waters take? Okay, so we know the second card is a spell. If they would have switched up those blockers and put them on the other other order, I, this Crimson Blood Letter would be dead. They could have had that thing be dead. All right, good get, good win. Two and one. This Vladimir Brom's feeling pretty good. I'm liking this deck. Seven wins, but I think so. Fiora. Fiora. So we need Fiora to be damaged and then Scorched Earth. Right, so we need Scorched Earth. These are all not bad cards. None of these are bad. We don't really need... Do we need both Ice Shard and Death Lotus? Like, maybe not. We don't really want just, like, random small followers. We want, like, just spells, Scar Grounds, our big stuff, and then... Um... What's real important is the Scorched Earth. But we don't want, like, small units that's easy. Perfect. We don't want small units that's easy for Fiora to kill. Yes! Double Scorched Earth. So they're going to have all three Fioras.
We do want them to spend some cards on the Fiora. I'll try anyone. I don't want to just like you know try to damage and scorch earth immediately. We want them to spend resources on, on the Fiora as well. So that will have them trade because of the plus one plus zero from the Scar Grounds. They do a lot better than trade. Yeah. <laughs> we have that pretty pretty well locked up. They use a lot of resources there. We're gonna be able to scorch her. We we had that game. The opponent knew it as well. Twisted Fate Swain. Twisted Fate Swain. I think this is a good hand against Twisted Fate Swain. They should do smaller amounts of damage, which is good for the curators. I guess this isn't a great brawl matchup because of Culling Strike, but I'll, I'll keep it. Scorched Earth. I was going to say that I want some spells, but not like Scorched Earth type spells. <laughs> Come on. Okay, it's alright. I, I drew perfect last game, so I can't really complain. Vladimir. Red card? Soak nope. it in. How can Brom help? All right, no cooling strike over there. You must be Lord Vladimir, and you must be Supper. Vision to see what others can. Where can I find a full body? Show me your best. They go trade, trade. Okay, damaging the left man. Sure. You're bluffing. Okay. They're Now the Vladimir will regen back. That all went pretty well. They're down to nine. If I go Tark has, it's like two damage to everything. I think I'm just gonna keep my spell mana up and do that. Hello, dear. What have you got us into now? Absolutely okay, let's try this out. Know your place. Should be a lot of damage to, to the Nexus. 16, I think that's enough. And that'll do. A four and one for Vladimir Braun. And the loss was just an absolute perfect hand from our first opponent. Looking good. I like this deck. I like this deck. This is gonna be on my my list of you know deck you know, so far the last few days we've played a few different decks of you know which ones are like the best for ranking up. I like the Jarvin Shen, the Soraka Braum, this Vladimir Braum, and the first one, Gameplank's Fate from today. 
I think those are going to be my decks for tomorrow. But I, I liked this quite a bit. So I think, yeah, let's bring this back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to like kind of bring back the favorites that we that we did the best with and everything and try them again. And yeah, this is definitely one of them. I liked it quite a bit. Yeah, nothing I'd want to change. The one of Elixir of Iron is, you know, probably like the 39th card. That one can be a, f a few different things if you want it to be. Um, some other things I was thinking about instead of that Elixir of Iron would be like playing like one Tavern Keeper if, if we need it against aggro. Doesn't quite seem like we do, but that's an option. Um, another option would be like one Babbling Bjerg to give us another thing to play on four. That would then, like if, if we're playing against slower decks, we probably want like the Babbling Bjerg that gives us, you know, a Tarkaz of Vladimir, a Basilisk Bloodseeker, right? Just gives you that, that card advantage. Or another option I was thinking about was playing one Blighted Ravine. Um, to have an, an extra two damage source against the quick decks. But I don't know. I didn't really know. So I, I decided to go with the one Elixir of Iron. I liked it. Um, but yeah, overall, this all looked pretty good. Crimson Disciple played really well. I could see just going three Disciples, no Aristocrat. But then again, the Aristocrat is so good with Braum. This could, so this Elixir of Iron could, could be third Disciple. Could do that. Go three disciple, no elixir of iron. I don't know. So, some things to think about. But for right now, it looked really good. I liked our top end. The Bloodseeker performed really, really well. Um, the Tarkaz performed really, really well. I liked both of those quite a bit. All right. So there we go. That's uh, Vladimir Brom. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments if you've been playing some Vladimir Brom. Uh, hopefully y'all have been enjoying the deck. Let me know. Let me know what you think of this list. Let me know if there's anything different that you would specifically do about the list, especially if you're playing a lot of Vladimir Brahm. I'd love the feedback if you got any suggestions for improving it. But that's going to be it for this one. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.